item numbers are something of an Indian movie staple and belly dancing has featured in some of the most memorable examples, especially when performed by Helen, Katrina Cape or Rani Mukherjee. But there's more to it than meets the eye, as I discovered when I tried some dance steps with the Oriental Fire performers and found out about their Bollywood ambitions. Describe as a collaboration of performers with a shared passion for Bollywood, hula and belly dancing, Oriental Fire presents some of the most toned tummies in the business. Based in Kauteng, members of the company have performed all over Africa, showing just how popular these styles have become. Belly dancing is one of the more exotic styles Bollywood choreographers have come to use. I mean, who could forget Katrina Kaif, Helen and Rani Mukherjee shaking their bellies? I've come to hear of a local dance troupe who have set their sights on the Mumbai industry. And that's why I'm here to meet Oriental Fire. The dancers have a multicultural makeup and come from a variety of backgrounds including Denmark, the Philippines and South Africa. While founder, choreographer and manager Tina Kapp is a Hong Kong born Australian who's lived on every continent except Antarctica. Tina, tell me about Oriental Fire. Well, it's been such an amazing thing to watch grow from just our first little group in my garage practicing to something that's just exploding. You've got the silks doing Bollywood up in the air. We're using violin remixes and covers of Bollywood songs. So it's things that people have never seen here before. And it's just so much fun, you know, taking it to a new direction and making us push ourselves and grow. And what got you interested in belly dancing? So when I came from Uganda to South Africa, I went to Pretoria and I didn't see a big Indian community that I expected when I had first seen videos and friends from Durban telling me about it. So rather than start right away in the Bollywood, I started developing the belly dance, which I saw was very popular here with women for their you know, holistic values, so good for their exercise and self-confidence and all that. Um, I started being the regular dancer at a Turkish restaurant, which was lovely, and I loved it so much, but I kept telling people that I really had a passion for Bollywood. And so eventually we started thinking we really got to bring it back. We kind of started with one song, sending out a few pictures to agents, and people just went nuts, because it was a huge thing in the market. People hadn't seen professional Bollywood groups. There's a lot of schools at the time, there's a lot of student groups, family members having a cousin dance, but people who really took it to the next level in the costuming and that. So that was really fun to see. Plus, of course, we're not Indian, so seeing someone who so embraced the lyrics and the translations when choreographing was something quite different. Since the company's inception, it has performed at several international events and with acclaimed dancers such as Sashin Kendai. What are we starting with? Okay, so we're going to teach you the little choreography okay. we do with the candle trays on our head, but okay. we'll start with out. One, two, three, four, and undulate. So you're lifting with your chest. Back, Other way. two, three, four, lift with your chest. And then it's a hip bump. One, two, three, four, five, six, sit, tuck, lift. I got it! Traditionally, the costume is known as a bedla which is an Arabic word meaning suit. Tina, tell us about your costume. Bollywood and belly dance is so much fun because there's so much variety and obviously lots of bling. So the first one we actually got as an idea from a gown off of an Indian fashion show. It had this amazing crisscross, we couldn't figure it out. So we put it into a way where we could wear it as pants, but it still has the slit and so it's very easy to move on stage, but you get that fabric. And we get the fabric from Uganda, which has the most amazing stuff ever. For the belly dance costumes, we use Tanya De Jong, a friend of mine who hand makes every belly dance costume. She's a dancer herself, so she knows how you want it to move, what the feed looks like on stage. For the last one, we actually took, it was a, a chori we saw that just had this interesting angle. We wanted something modern on top to bring it up to date, but then use the proper sari material at the bottom. So each girl has different color skirts, so on stage it's just this bonanza of color like you want on Bollywood, and that's so much fun. And when we dance with the silk veil, it's just beautiful. The dancers enjoy the freedom of expression that characterizes contemporary Bollywood style choreography. And in the process, they're taking belly dancing to a new level with even more color, movement and energy. Whoever called it belly dancing seriously got it wrong because this art form can give any body part the starring role. I'm amazed at the freedom and control Tina and her dancers can show. And if Mumbai is looking for something different, these ladies will light up the screen.